What is up, party people? Today we are talking AMP. I better not call it AMP. Let's call it AMP. We're talking about the AMP token. So if you've been watching a channel, then you know that lots of times I like to see what could potentially happen by looking through the lens of NCR. So this video, we're going to speculate a little bit, but we're going to look at it through the lens of NCR once again. So NCR has a partnership with Santander, and Santander is a pretty, pretty big bank that's global. If you leave the United States, you're going to find a lot of banks that are owned by Santander, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, the UK. And NCR has an excellent relationship with them. And now Santander has decided to expand that relationship and saying, hey, you know what? We need NCR to manage our ATMs. We want them to work with it because odds are that there's a lot of regulations, you know, when you start working with ATMs and trying to connect to other enterprises and all that stuff, insurances, you know, all this, all the legal work, paperwork, bureaucracy, red tape that you have to go through to get something like that done. It's easy if they're doing it just, you know, an ATM that only connects to Santana, but say you have the idea that, hey, I want these ATMs to be able to connect to other financial institutions. Then it starts to get tricky because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that they would need to do to stay compliant. And NCR has already done all that. They did all the groundwork. They laid out all the foundation to make their ATMs legal and create the ability to communicate with other enterprises, to communicate with other financial institutions that aren't banking. So NCR has a division where they provide ATMs as a service. So you may be saying, hey, well, what does this mean for the AMP token? Remember, we've talked in the past that AMP and NCR has, have an excellent relationship. And NCR provides companies that use their services with a flip of a switch to be able to now start accepting crypto. And then this is where Flex and Network the AMP, the AMP token, I better say AMP token, that one dude's going to get mad at me. The AMP token can play a role because when people are dealing with money, they don't want to deal with wait times. They don't want to deal with fraud. You know, they just want to get paid. And the AMP token as collateral can provide instant payment for a lot of these banks. You know, so they're like, okay, we want to collect our fees. We want them now. You know, AMP can provide the collateral for that. So let's talk about the potential uses of this. In a couple of days, I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to Brazil. And one of the things I like to do when I go to Brazil is, is, hey, let my bank know that I'm traveling there. And before, it was simple. I could call the bank, let them know that I'm traveling, give them the dates. And if I wanted to use my ATM card, I can just use it. You know, I can go to any ATM and withdraw money. So it was simple. Now, things are starting to change. Now they're saying, hey, you can travel but you don't need to contact us. And it sounds good. This really, really sounds good until you try to use it. So when I travel, you know, I leave my state and I end up in Georgia. So the state of Georgia, because that's where I, I have a layover and that's where I catch the next plane. I transfer from one plane to another and then that plane goes to Brazil. So when I travel to Georgia, and I try to use my debit card in Georgia, the bank sends me a text message saying, did you make this purchase? Is this transaction legit? Click yes or no. And lots of times that means they got declined at first. So now I got to text back, let the bank know this is legit and run, and run the payment the second time. Good, so now it gets paid in Georgia. Now, a few hours later, I land in Brazil. Now the card is blocked because they're like, hey, we got a charge in, in Georgia. Now we got one in Brazil. Is this charge legit? But now that text message can't get to me because I'm out of the country. So now I got to call them and let them know. When you call them, they're like, no, 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 we have a new system. Well, you don't have to call us. You don't have to tell us that you're trying to lie. You go, but yes, I'm in another country and my card's getting declined. You know, they're like, well, we need to verify you. We'll send you a verification message. I go, I can't receive U.S. messages in Brazil. So they tell you 
you know, it sounds good until you use it because lots of times I've gone to Brazil and I can't use my debit card because it's blocked out, even though they tell you you don't need to inform them. So there's a lot of bugs, you know, there's so many safety features plugged into the banking system that you can't use it. PayPal, we've made videos about PayPal where they blocked me out of my own account for making a payment that I've been making for years. Now I can't do it. And I had to create a new PayPal account to make the same payment. Then it goes through the second time. But I can't do it on my own account because they blocked it for some reason. And they can't tell me why it's blocked. So now with digital currency, say I have digital currency that I can pay with. And I have my crypto wallet. Since I have custody of my own wallet, I can go to one of these crypto ATMs and make a payment. And people are worried, so well, how can we prevent the fraud? And this is again where the AMP token comes in. So there's a lot of potential here. As banks decide to close shop, that is the brick and mortar buildings and go digital, ATMs are probably gonna become more prevalent. We're gonna start seeing more of them. People using ATMs more to do their banking. And NCR is work, working with banks to make it easier for them. And if banks decide, hey, we wanna get into Web3, NCR can provide that service. If they're afraid of fraud, the, the AMP token can be used as collateral against the fraud. So there's a lot of big potential here. And remember guys, remember this is all speculation. Always do your own due diligence. Until next time, peace out, safe investing.